what Unstoppable Domains is trying to do. Am I going to be buying caroline.hide.ether or whatever it is in the future? And what reason would I need it? Yeah, so we're on a mission to provide user-owned identity to all 3 billion internet users on the planet. And we do that by creating NFTs, and, and in this case, NFT domains like caroline.nft. And uh, we believe you're going to use that not only for sending and receiving crypto payments. So uh, if you believe in crypto long term, everyone on the planet is going to be sending crypto to each other. So you're definitely going to want a domain name to make that simpler. But we also think you're going to use that to log into all your different apps. And people are already doing that right now uh, for Web3 applications. And we think it's going to spread across to the rest of the Internet as well. The rest of the internet, talk to us about how Unstoppable, Dom the Unstoppable Domains is kind of creating the next version of the internet alongside you and your rivals. What was the real pitch you had to investors to really uh, buy into the future here at a time where we're facing so much pressure on the market overall? Yeah, well, people spend 50% or more of their time uh, online now, just staring at a screen. And less than 1% of the things that you own are likely digital assets. And we think that over the coming decades, uh, that's going to change. So you can see a lot of value being cre created in crypto, trillions of dollars in value here. We think that's only going to increase. And, uh, you know, you see Mark Zuckerberg spending $10 billion to build uh, the metaverse in VR. Mm -hmm. And that just says to us that there's a huge bull market in digital assets over the next decade. And we think that one of the first things you're going to want to own online is going to be your name and your reputation. And that's really the push behind digital identity. Uh-oh, Matthew, I'm already thinking how hard it was to get my Twitter name or my or website name or things like that. How, are there going to be countless? I mean, are we going to have to have, like, Caroline Hyde version one, two, three? Like, how, what, what, explain to me exactly how it's going to look, how it's going to feel the domains. Yeah, so you actually had a really good example there. How much do you think, you know, Elon Musk's Twitter handle is worth to him, right? Mm. And it's probably worth a million dollars. And the thing is, he doesn't own that name on Twitter. Uh, and, you know, he could get kicked off of Twitter and then and he could lose it, right? And this is kind of the whole promise of Web3 and crypto in general is that you should be owning these digital assets. And so instead of having like one name on Twitter and a different name on Instagram and a different one on Reddit, you could have a single name that you own and control inside your crypto wallet. And then you can use that to sign into these uh, different social applications and then you would have a consistent reputation. But how expensive that. would it be? Like, what, what if someone just went out there and bought all the celebrity ones up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, the domain names are anywhere from $5 to thousands of dollars. It's kind of like the traditional domain name industry. With one major difference is there's no renewal fees for NFT domains because they are blockchain assets. And uh, through our partners, you can actually get domain names for free. So a lot of wallet apps now are working with us to make sure that everyone who mm -hmm. downloads a digital crypto wallet also gets a domain name so that they have an easy endpoint to deposit money into their application. So there's not going to be a barrier to entry here if someone wants to get on. But then on the high end, we are seeing sales for these domain names in the hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, uh -huh. for some of the more premium ones. How, help us understand this. One of your investors is online talking about how you're kind of what Coinbase is to crypto, you are to Web3. What does that really mean? And how does that kind of put you at the center of an industry in that kind of a way? Yeah, so um, the, the very first simple use case is sending cryptocurrency. And if you have like 20 or 30 different cryptocurrency addresses, you're not going to be able to remember all of them. And they're really long computer hexadecimal addresses. So that's kind of like IP addresses on the Internet in the early 90s. And everyone replaced those with uh, domain names like .com. And this is like that except for individuals. So for .com domain names where you have you know, maybe 50 million businesses and 300 million registered uh, domains, for this, we actually think it's going to be every single user on the internet. So that's three billion people um, with a with an NFT domain to make it easier for people to find information about them, verify information about them, and uh, send them money. So if you ask me, like, what am I going to be using this for? Um, we think it's going to help you have portable reputation on the internet. And so you know, we have two major problems on the internet. One right now is that you actually can't own anything. And then the other one is all these problems around fraud, spam, bots, et cetera, that we actually just talked about with Elon Musk in the prior segment. And if you had portable reputation, you could actually help solve that problem. So I'll give you a for instance. Um, uh, my dad actually bought tickets on eBay, mm -hmm. and uh, it happened to be from a scammer. And the thing is, is that scammer can actually just go and then start selling 
you know, fake tickets or whatever on a different website like Amazon Marketplace. And because there's not a consistent reputation across applications online, um, these applications can't check and see if that person is potentially uh, doing fraud. But if you had a consistent reputation so that you were caroline.nft uh, on one platform and then you're caroline.nft over here and you're caroline.nft yeah. on Twitter, then you have a consistent reputation. And we think that actually makes the internet safer. Very briefly, Matthew, and I understand it's a hard one to have to tackle, but you know this is a time where valuations have crumbled. You've managed to get an above a billion and a 65 million amount. Did you have to down, downgrade a little bit when you first started having the conversations? Uh, so we've seen cooling across the whole market. So Unstoppable Domains is no exception to that. Um, we're just fortunate enough to be working with some investors who've been in the space for a long time. Pantera is our lead for this. They've been investing in crypto for 10 plus years. So I'd actually say to founders out there looking to raise money, mm -hmm. um, if you're in it for the long run, then I think you'll be fine going out and funding right now. It is significantly harder than it was in 2021, uh, but that's okay. I mean, if you're here to really create utility for users instead of speculation, you'll still find a business model that works and you'll still be able to figure it out.